Hi everyone, my name is Jesse Drent and I haven't been on this channel for a while. I've been on the channel together with Ava, always Horse Love or with Matt from Matt Hanaki. Um, but not really on this channel and I thought I would change that and I'm gonna post more on this channel again. Um, but for the people that don't know me yet, um, my name is Jesse, I live in the Netherlands. Uh, most of the things you will see about me is about horses I think. Also because of my day mostly is a little bit about horses so of course I will try to do some other things as well but a lot of it will be about horses. Okay the channel already has some old videos but of course I thought I should like do a kind of a restart. Like most of it will stay on it and I will do some stuff together still with the others but um, I thought I wanted to start well, make a good video, maybe an introduction first. Um, so this one is a bit about me, I asked on Instagram for people who wanted to who had some questions and they could ask them and I could re answer them in here. Um, but of course I'm not doing this alone. I have like my friends here, I have um, the horses here, so I'm gonna make videos about them as well. Um, but they will come later. And if you have any other ideas just let me know, I will try to see if I can make them or not. Okay, so about me, I live in the Netherlands. I started horse riding when I was 8 years old. Start, didn't stop asking for an own horse and got my own horse, Andorra, when I was 12. Um, Andorra is my mare, she's now already 24, um, but she's really special, but of course what I told you already I will tell you more about all the horses later. So when I was 12 I got Andorra, um, later I got Macho, I think two years later, kind of, the Shetland, still stallion. And now in about two years ago I got Antares, it's my Andalusian, now a gelding for not so long. Um, and I have a few horses from other people. Okay, so for me with the horses it's really important to do a lot of different things. I couldn't do the same thing over and over again. Um, but that doesn't mean, because I think most of the people maybe know me because of doing tricks. Um, and I really do a lot of trick, yeah, like trick training. But besides that I can't do it over and over and over because I really like to just work with horses, be with horses. Um, and the trick training is more also the way you want to work with them, so but in a positive way like Rewarding them, playing with them, um, and doing, yeah, really working together to get somewhere. So I really like to do jumping and do dressage, um, and yeah, just everything. And of course, I like to go on hacks and everything. So, okay, but back to the trick training. Of course, most of the things we do work-wise is trick training. I wouldn't really want to call it work because I really like doing it, and I'm really grateful I get to do this. Um, but together with Ava, I do a lot of shows. Um, we do it like in Holland and outside of Holland, which we're really grateful for and really enjoy demonstrations, telling and showing the people what we're doing. Um, and we do a lot of lessons, workshops, um, pony camps. We also do some pony camps, which is really fun. So we get to meet a lot of people, have fun with people and the horses. Um, and we're working on really, really great products. I really can't wait to show you. I'm really excited about the product. So um, there will be like, um, there will be like, a little more than a month I think that they are hopefully finished but then of course I will show you more about it when it's the time yeah we even have two books about it all so that's also really great I hope to have them in English as well so maybe if you would like them you can also see them okay yeah next to horses it's mostly Netflix I think Netflix and just hanging with friends and that's about it so I think it's time to get to the questions because you all are not waiting for a hour video to me talking about myself and I'm also not really want to do that. So I'm gonna see what you all said it on Instagram. When and why did you start riding and training horses? What's your story? Um, my sister was already riding at a riding school. Um, I never really thought about riding horses but I sometimes went with her to watch and everything and then me and my mom also went for a lesson to just to try it out to know what she was doing. Um, and since then I know it was on a half linger. And ever since then I didn't want to stop anymore and then every week I went and I did that for three years and then I got on door. And after time I started riding a few horses from other people and then I started like doing horses as my school as well. So I did internships everywhere and yeah so by that it just started to um, become a little bit more and more every time. Where do you live and can I order a t-shirt to be sent to California? Nah. Um, yeah I'll put the website in the uh, description and then you can see in that. If I'm right, you can, uh, they can be sent to everywhere, so that's good. Um, I live in the north of Holland, um, but not for so long, I think for like three months maybe, before I lived closer to the German border. And there we had also like the stables and like a lot of horses for us. We wanted to grow more with the land, I do some different things, so now we um, decided to live here. Tips on training mini... Tips for training minis 
on liberty for liberty um i think it's not really a breed thing i think it's just be positive reward those on the right time and oh, and don't give up and then i think with every breed you can do everything okay this is a good one i think um how and when did you discover your love for horses which i already replied um, and what's your magic trick for convincing your parents to let you get your own? Um, I think it's really hard of course. Okay, so what I'm going to say is not that it's possible for everyone. So if your parents can do it for you and want to do it for you, you're very lucky of course. Um, because it's a really big, big commitment and you need to be able to do it. So only then of course this will count. Uh, but I just didn't stop asking for it. Every time I had my birthday as well I was looking. Um, but of course I didn't do anything um, and then yeah I think I have found a place close to where I lived because there weren't a lot of places and someone I knew was also there with the horse so I uh, made sure I knew everything had everything on paper I could tell her exactly what the costs were and what it looked like and what we had to do and everything and then after a while she uh, came with me there so the best thing is to bring them to the place and then they maybe get excited and then we started looking and then before we bought Andorra, we cancelled her once because there was another horse closer to us. Um, when that didn't work out, we still wanted to see her and then she was the last horse. My mom was like, after this we just have to like give it a break because we're just seeing so many horses. And then before we I knew it, we already bought her. Do I have any sisters? Um, I have a sister, an older sister, and I have a half sister that's younger and a half brother that's younger. If I didn't train or work with horses, what would your other job be? Well, if you would know, I would know because I have absolutely no idea. Well, maybe because I... When, when I watch movies, I always like the people that have jobs as a, as a lawyer. Um, but maybe that's more the movie part. I don't know. Are you thinking about coming to Germany in any time? Um, I would like to. Um, I'm really planning on going to more like different countries as well for workshops and lessons. So if Germany could happen, that would be great. How do you get a really good bond with your horses? I think just be with them. Don't always expect something from them. Work without expectations. Will I do Liberty tut tutorials? Uh, will I do Liberty tutorials on my channel? Um, Maybe a few, but I'm also working on something else, maybe. Um, but more information about that later. Um, but I'm sure there will be a few if you would like that. Okay, when am I going to focus on the trick training with Antares? Well, Antares is only four. He becomes five in October, so very soon. Um, and I'm doing already a little bit with him, but he just had time to grow. And he was a, struggled a little bit as a stallion, so he, he just really needed some time. Um, but from now on, of course, I'm just playing a little bit with him and working a bit with him. So we'll see from now, I think everything starts just to... Like, I don't like want to put a time on it. I just want to work with him and then we'll see. A lot of horse shows. Well, yeah, we do like a lot of horse shows uh, where we bring the horses, where we show stuff and... Yeah, just have fun with them. For us, we never really like have something... I mean, sometimes we try, but usually we don't really study something in like with the show. We just go for it. Do what feels good at the moment and have fun with it. So, will your books be in English? Um, what I already said in the beginning maybe, but the books will maybe be in English. I hope so, we're trying to arrange it. So hopefully we have a book about just the storyline and the other book is really about like how to teach all the tricks. So, yeah, we're trying to. <coughs> okay, the last question I will try to find. Um, okay, yeah, the last question for today. What do you like more, the English writing or the trick training? Um, for me it's just not more about really what I'm doing, it's just that I can't do the same thing over and over. Um, so I need to have a bit of a difference and I just really like to work with the horses. And I think for me, I just want to have like more the way you work with them, to have it like doing the normal riding and also doing the tricks. So that's more most important for me. And I just really like to jump, to do dress to like get better for myself and the horse and then to do tricks to like really start to understand each other but you can help in the saddle as well so that's a bit of a hard question and i think i just like so these were a lot of things and talking about me i'm sorry for that um, but i had to start somewhere so i wanted to introduce myself and then i'll start with the horses and of course all the other things we're gonna do so these were some questions for me and some background story for me 
and if you want to know more just ask it or look at my Instagram I'll put it in the description and if you have any other ideas for videos just put them in the comments as well and I'll look at it so then just let them know in the comments I'm really excited to start my own channel again as well um, and then And I'm really excited to start my own channel as well. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. That's a bit weird. <laughs>